Hello lovely students of class 10. You are welcome to unit 15, reading second, Sugarloaf Mountain, 5 interesting facts. Dear students, I hope you have read and understood the text and today I will help you to do the exercises given okay, just below the text. Now match these words with their meanings. So matching. Landmark. So landmark means an object or a structure on land that is easy to see and recognize. This is called a landmark. Okay, this landmark means bi an object or a structure on land that is easy to see and recognize. Now V spectacular. A spectacular means very impressive. It means spectacular means very impressive. This one. Now sprawling. Sprawling means okay. Covered with buildings across a large area. Covered with buildings across a large area. Now, tranquil. Tranquil. Okay, tranquil means calm, quiet, and peaceful. Calm, quiet, and peaceful. Next, E. Blockbusters. Blockbusters. Okay, very successful films very successful films blockbusters fortifications fortifications yeah. walls or other constructions built to strengthen a place against attack walls or other is constructions built to strengthen a place against attack next uh, peninsula peninsula third one a piece of land that is almost entirely surrounded by water and is attached to a larger a land area. A piece of land that is almost entirely surrounded by water and is attached to a larger land area. This is called peninsula. Now, bustling, bustling means full of lively activity. Full of lively activity. Now, next. Uh, B. We can form adjectives by adding ing or ed at the end of the verbs, as in sprawling, bustling, and unfolded in the text. Complete the following sentences and changing the verb in the brackets into an adjective by adding ing or ed. So, dear students, here the children were annoyed. So, we can okay make uh, here. Uh, as annoying and annoyed both are adjectives, but we have to write here annoyed because okay, here the children were annoyed, uh, okay, uh, by, uh, by the film, okay, with the film. So, if some if somebody is okay, uh, affected by something, we have to use ed form of adjectives here. See, the children were annoyed when they missed the beginning of the movie. Now, we have you read Agni by Navraj Lamsar? It's a great book if you are interested in reaching poems. Okay, interested here. I have already told you. We can, uh, okay, okay. ING and ED both are adjectives, but here, if somebody is affected or if somebody has the effect uh, due to something, we have to use ED uh, adjective here. Now, see, the result of the game was surprising. The best team didn't win. So here, result itself was surprising. Okay, so result. Generally, people are okay. And here, D. I don't enjoy going out with Sumi. She's uh, the most boring person. So Sumi is the boring person. Okay, she the boring person. Herself is the boring person. Now, the students were so excited. So excited. Students were excited when their school decided to take them on a trip. So they were excited. Uh, because of the decision uh, plan for a trip. Now, yeah, Angela was quite terrified when she was flying for the first time, terrified due to flying. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I love to go to the fears because they perform, the, they perform very interesting magic. Okay, interesting magic. So, magic was interesting. Now, match the paragraphs in reading second with their correct headings. Now, okay, the first A. Here, the first uh, uh, is first paragraph is about rock climbing. Okay, so, we're low mountain rock climbing. The first paragraph is rock climbing, and B, 
A second paragraph, paragraph B is about neighboring mountains. And paragraph C is about Hollywood star. And paragraph D is about Guana, Guana Barabe, Guana Barabe. And paragraph E is about awesome cable car ride. Awesome cable car ride. Now, so here, what is uh, answer this question? What is Sugarloaf Mountain located? Sugarloaf Mountain is located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It is located in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Now, question number B. How did the mountain get the name Sugarloaf Mountain? So, the answer is here. The mountain in Rio de Janeiro is called Pau de Aquagar in Portuguese, which translates to Sugarloaf Mountain in English. This is one okay, reason behind the name of the mountain. Next is the mound is also shaped like a traditional form of refined sugar. So it is, uh, it got the name Sugarloaf Mountain because of its shape, like a traditional form of uh, refined sugar. And it was named in Portuguese, which means Sugarloaf Mountain in English. So now, next C. Do you think many people can do rock climbing at a time when they visit the mountain? Why? Yes, I think so. I think so. I think that because there are 270 different routes to climb the mountain. There are 270 routes to climb the mountain for rock climbing. Next question D. Which of the sites do you think the children do you think the children would love to visit? Why? I think the children would love to visit the cable cars. This is the uh, fifth one because they can enjoy sightseeing and traveling at the same time. Okay. So I think I think the children would love to visit the cable cars because they can enjoy sightseeing and traveling at the same time. Now number E. Name the first film in which Sugarloaf Mountain was featured. Power D. Akukar was the first film featuring the Sugarloaf Mountain. Okay. So don't write the mountain. Okay. Sugarloaf Mountain. Next is Question number okay, yeah. What is the history about Guanabella Bay? Guanabara Bay. Guanabara was home to several fortifications and it is made up of more than 130 islands and surrounded by beautiful natural scenery. So it's more it's historic. History means that is always okay important and famous here. Uh, it was home to several fortifications and it is made up of more than 103 islands and surrounded by beautiful natural okay, scenery. Next is What should you do to enjoy the best scene of Guanabara Bay? What is Guanabara Bay? We should tour Sugarloaf Mountain. We should tour. I should tour. We should tour to enjoy we should tour sugarloaf mountain to enjoy the best scene of guanabara bay enjoy the best scene we should tour around tour sugarloaf mountain question number yes do you think a visitor should ride the cable cars while visiting the mountain why yes a visitor should ride the cable cars so that they can enjoy a unique scenic combination of bustling city a tranquil way, stunning views of Rio de Janeiro and a sparkling ocean. So, a visitor should ride the cable cars while visiting the mountain. So, this is the answer for you. Okay, dear students, now next question is, which of the facts of Sugarloaf Mountain interested you the most? The cable cars taking visitors to the summit of Sugarloaf Mountain interested me the most. Okay, this uh, is the answer. The cable cars taking visitors to the summit of Sugarloaf Mountain interested me the most because the riders can enjoy stunning views of Rio de Janeiro from a height of 296 feet. Furthermore, the journey offers a unique scene combination, scene combination of bustling city of Frank Willoughby and a sparkling ocean. Next, grammar second. Complete the following sentences using the correct preposition from the brackets. I love traveling. I love traveling. This is, you know, no. I love traveling. Therefore, I went to Delhi by plane last week. Next, B. 
Navrata visited Lumini in 2002. See, my best friend lives in a beautiful house across the street. Next, D. We had to walk up to the edge of the desert to find water. We had to walk up to the edge of the desert to find water. Now, e, the Prime Minister died of a head injury a few days after his accident. The Prime Minister died of a head injury a few days after the, after the accident. Now, yeah, my family has been living in the run for two years. My family has been living in the run for two years. Now, G. I'm very pleased to meet you, to meet you. Mm. Now, yes, he's a tall boy with the long brown hair. Now, next, I, Guman Singh is a student at Tribune University. Now, Z, on November 2nd, we will start our new semester. Now, this K, I love your house by the river. I can write also, okay, by the river is better. Now, next one. She misses her grandfather because she hasn't met him for ages. Next. Complete the text below with the correct prepositions. Mm. I live in Bairava. I live in Bairava. But every summer, I like to travel to Pokhara. I am afraid of traveling by plane. Uh, last summer, I decided I would travel by bus. According to the ticket I received from the travel agency, the bus would leave Pokhara at 9.15. Okay, uh, on Friday and arrive in Pokhara the following day at 5 30 in the morning. Yeah, the travel would include boating on Feva Lake or in Feva Lake. We can ride boat mm. from one end of the lake to another end. We will also drive to different beautiful places. It would be really wonderful. This is all about uh, the exercises of units. Second year students, and uh, next I will come up with the, okay this later uh, for you. This is uh, okay. Uh, this is later to an e uh, or email, so it's very easy for you as well. And next day I will come up with the okay solution detail solution detail guide to unit sixteen. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.